Ah, in a barn. Good old barn finds. Feeling good? What kind of parts we got? Anything good? Anything good? Crown Vic, Crown Vic, race. Oh, in a case? What? V8 OHP? I don't see why not. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, shizzle. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing sunglasses at night because my future's so bright. We're going to get all Blues Brothers in here, baby. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? 71%. Okay, 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 okay. Sounds good. Engine value, 34. Uh-huh, uh-huh. $243,000. Well, you know, it is a part of movie history. Dodge Monaco. Blues Brothers style, baby. Big fan. Let's do it. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back. Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Just hanging out here, taking a pull of V8 OHB engine. Pardon me. Pardon me. Just gotta get this. Let me just get this piece on here. Let me just get it off. Just take it off. Just take it all off. V8 OHV. We've done these before, but you know what? We haven't put it into one of these. Mm -hmm. 1974 Dodge Monaco. AKA the Blues Mobile. Hey, hey, it's made by Gollywog. And you can add it to your collection. Car Mechanic Simulator. There's four different versions of this car if you download them on. There is just a standard version, there's the cop car version. And there is a street rod version here, which is shown here. Now this is uh, not. I, I haven't touched anything inside of it. It's all. It's all for show, kids. It's all for show. I haven't messed with the uh, <clears throat> with the windows. That's why it's eighty-four percent. But I uh, messed with the tires. And I'll tell you what, man. It looks. It looks awful nice. This looks way better <laughs> than if I were just to take the stock off. But the Blues Mobile. It is a nineteen seventy-four Dodge Monaco. Classic, classic cat, classic movie. I've uh, redone the inside. I have a feeling I'm just going to leave the uh, exterior all rusty like that. I'm going to have to do that. It's kind of like a sleeper car. Kind of. Kind of, because we're going to redo the engine and everything on the inside is brand new. We're going to speed it up. We're going to make it super duper fast. Everything's going to be fantastic. Love the Blues Brothers. It's good stuff. Not so much a Blues Brothers 2000 fan, though. I don't think many people were. I don't think many people were. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, there was 13 different uh, Blues Brothers cars that were used in the actual film. It's like, geez. Jeez. One of the most epic car chases, car chase scenes in the history of cinema. You can't deny it. It's undeniable. It's un if you're undeniable, listen, kids, folks, if you're undeniable, you cannot be denied. All right? Be undeniable. And that movie's undeniable. They didn't even want Aretha Franklin in the movie. <laughs> they wanted the uh, the person who sang that uh, car wash song. At the car wash, whoa, 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 whoa. At the car wash, yeah. And then they just like, ah, I think we got Aretha Franklin to kind of revitalize her career. It's a fantastic movie. Did you know there was a cocaine budget? For the film? Excuse me? What? Yeah. Yeah, there's a budget for cocaine. Like, we, <laughs> they put it into the budget. We're going to need this much this much money for this amount of time. What's all? What's up with this uh, one column here? Uh, what column? It says co cocaine? Uh, millions of dollars for cocaine? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan Aykroyd got engaged to Carrie Fisher while the filming of the movie was going on. What? Uh. So, you know, definitely... There was some definite cocaine of flowing, my friends. My friends, uh, rest in peace, rest in peace. Not the day I for it. Let's take this apart here. Dan Aykroyd uh, also uh, wrote the film for uh, the Blues Brothers. The script was 324 pages long. What? Now, if you, uh, I've done a couple, uh, you know, written a couple scripts. I've uh, been, my, my friends have uh, made me read some of their scripts. Sometimes they're fantastic, sometimes uh, not so much. If you think about it in movie script times, so normally in screenwriter terminology, you're thinking about one page equals one minute of, of, of screen time. Now, that's not always the case. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so loud. That's not usually the case. Whoops. 
Because there's a lot of like exposition and things like that. We're like, all right, main character. Scene A. Outside. Character walks in from a hard day's work. Ba 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 ba. Just like exposition, just kind of setting up the scene. But 324 pages is egregious. So yeah, can we get that cut down? I mean, the original cut of the movie was about two and a half hours, and uh, there were a bunch of. Uh, I'm not sure if they were racist theater owners, but they didn't want to show. They didn't want to show a two and a half hour movie, and then they also said that they didn't want to. Ha and by the way, hashtag no racism. They uh, didn't want to show a air quotes black movie in their theaters, so they were like, "Nah, we're we're, we're good." Jokes on them, you know. Didn't actually do all that great. I think it all, like, you know, the reviews for the movie weren't that fantastic. LA Times was like, "Nah, nah, we're not, we're good." New York Times were like, "It's kind of, it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess." I mean, they blew, they wrecked so many cars in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so many rides. That's fantastic. So good. Do we get the time chain on here? Nice. Nice. Super duper nice. Time and chain. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Get that alternator on here. Now, with the uh, Dodge Monaco, if you want to get the Blues Brothers version, they're only, you can only find them in barns. Barn finds. Everything else you can find in junkyards, auctions, the normal average places. But if you want the Blues Brothers, oh, I forgot the Pistion rings. Pistion rings, my friend. Good stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wunderbar. But yeah, so if you want to get the Blues Brothers car, better start unlocking some of them, uh, some of them barn finds. Now, as you can see in the, uh, the front gun, I found it in the barn farm because I had a whole bunch of uh, things left over from the time that my uh, account and my game save crashed. And then I added in a couple, uh, I added in my, my levels back. But I didn't know the exact amount of XP I had to add back in order to look exactly the same, so I just you know, added a whole bunch in there. So I had a whole bunch of barn finds. So I was like, well, all right, if I can only find it in barns, then we're, we're going to use these up. I'm going to use them up. We're gonna use them up. Feels used. <laughs> I was used. All right. Water pump pulley. Pulley. Be nice if I know how to spell pulley. Good stuff. Water pump. Boop. Nice. Crankshaft. Now the uh, horn that's on the top of the uh, the car, the ride. In the movie, it's meant to be a loudspeaker because they're in a band, you know? It's the premise. But in all actuality, it's a raid, it's a raid air horn. It's a raid. It's a raid! And uh, Dan Aykroyd wanted to have it on the top of the, ooh, Cliff B's. I gotta get a Cliff B, Cliff B, Cliff B. Because at his uh, elementary school when he was growing up, they had a giant air raid horn, and he always thought that like that's that would be an awesome loudspeaker. So that's the reason why that uh, kind of air horn is on there, and it's comical. It's comical because it's so it's so it's so big. Oh my god, it's so big! Not the first time I've ever heard that. Actually, actually, that's a lot. Uh, let's see here. Put this in. Put the clutch plate on. Boop boop. Clutch pr pressure plate. What do you know about pressure? Get this bearing cap on here. Clutch. We're so clutch. You have no idea. Boop. Get the performance engine heads on there, baby. Uh, I always forget if rocker arms are repairable. I always, I always forget, but that's okay because we got valve push rods. I purchased those because I knew, I knew it. I knew it was going to be there. I knew it was going to be a problem. Come on, come on. All right, rocker arms, are they repairable? They're not, I always forget. Rocker, we're gonna need 57 of these things. No, no, no we're not. 16 should do. 16 should suffice, because there's eight on each side. And that's math. Uh, let's put you there. 
Now, I've already uh, taken care of the undercarriage of it. I know that a lot of people are like, how come you don't show the bottom of it? I will show the bottom of it. Because uh, we haven't put on the exhaust, which does, which we can put uh, performance parts on. So we're going to make this thing super fast, so you have no idea. I don't even, you have no idea. Boop. Engine head covers. One. Side almost done here. Put in spark plugs. Sparky. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Put on the exhaust manifolds. Sexy, it's sexy, it's shiny, it's beautiful, it's pretty, it's nice. Yeah, but uh, the Dodge Monaco is probably uh, one of the ugliest cars you'll ever see. And it was right, it, I mean, 1973 in America was when the uh, fuel crisis started happening, too. So this was released a year after that, and Dodge got caught a heap of garbage. Because uh, they were, I forget what the other car they released during that time, but they were just giant boats, just like huge gas guzzlers, and people were very upset. They were very upset. They were like, I don't want to buy it. Other than the fact that it looks like a giant box, I mean, other than that, not, not only because it didn't have a catalytic, 1974 didn't have a catalytic converter, because it's also uh, explained in the movie. 1975 is when they started adding that in for fuel efficiency because of the issues of the times. Sign of the times. Sign of the times. Let's put you on there. Put you there. Put you there. Yeah, man. In the uh, Blues Brothers movie, the car chase scene. Best car chase scene. One of the best. Top ten. You know? Top ten, top five. Depending on your uh, taste. It was filmed in an actual mall that was closing, so they were. it was a shuttered... Uh, mall. What they were rolling through there. So they weren't all that worried about, <laughs> about wrecking it. Which, which they did. And uh, after that uh, scene was shot, that mall never reopened. And it recently got torn down. I think it was like 2013. 2013 was when that mall actually got torn down on the ground. And they wanted to film the movie in Chicago because Chicago's dope. Unless you're on the south side, then you gotta keep your head on the swivel. But like, at the time, they didn't have a film, like, they didn't have a production, like, spot. Like, there was no real production team. Usually if you go to a city, uh, I'm about to type in production. Uh, I just spaced. Hold on. Airflow's a little base. There we go. Space not, bro. Bring it out, man! Uh, you, you, you. But they didn't have like a production office. That's what I was trying to think of. That's 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 what I was trying to think of. Um, hello. Am I blind? I'm not blind. I'm just not just not seeing it because it's not there. Yeah. So the uh, city of Chicago had to create its own product like a film production team or like an actual area for films just for the Blues Brothers and that's uh, what helped them out this thing's looking banging nice all right so we gotta flip this around stop it hood hood beautiful yeah so before the Blues Brothers uh, movie there was no production office in the city of Chicago. So there you go, Chicago. You're welcome. What a banger of a movie. Don't want to... What am I doing? I'm losing my mind. Bring it out, man! It's good. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna need more. Oh, no. I think we're good. Then we'll be fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Now, there are some pieces of the engine and a couple pieces of the car that didn't come with. I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep the outside of that just uh, just the way that it is. There's a bunch of liveries that come with the, uh, with the mod. 
Rod caps. Rod cap. Hold on here. Did I just put on a whole bunch of broken ones? I'm too busy thinking about uh, movie facts and trivia. It's what I enjoy. It's what I like. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Let me just be sure. Would not be the first time I've messed something up. Just gonna do it right. Just gotta do it right. That's all. Boom, boom. Also, one of the stunt drivers for uh, the CAS. Hold on. Did I, I just wanna make sure that these rod caps are, are okay. I was not paying attention. One of the sun drivers for the uh, Blues Brothers cars in one of the chase seasons was uh, John Wayne's son. A little, less, little lesser known trivia fact. There you go. To make the cars flip, they <laughs> John Landis dumb. Uh, they built a. Uh, they built. They dug a giant ditch so when all the cars hit that ditch, it was gonna flip them. It's gonna flip all the cars. It's like, all right. So this is what we're gonna do, everybody. Don't freak out, man. All the people in Chicago were bugging out too because all these cars were just racing down because they were going like an actual hundred miles an hour. They were like, uh, this look, and uh, it looked like it was in, uh, the, uh, John Landis was saying, like, it looked like it was sped up. He's like, it was bummed out, he was bummed out because of the film, when he was re watching back, uh, what am I doing, there we go, he was watching it back and it looked like the film was sped up, so, in order to kind of make it look like the cars were actually going that fast and not the uh, film wasn't sped up he had <laughs> put pedestrians on the sidewalk that were just like ducking and weaving ducking and weaving oh, look at this this is gonna be baller this is banging sir that's a banging ride nice so while they first initially shot the uh, chase scene with no pedestrians on the sidewalks and Landis is like it looks like everything is just sped up for no reason Drop in this gearbox. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Get out of this. Uh. Hmm. Oh, wow. Let's make this something stupid. There we go. Boop. The only problem, the only thing with this, the drive shaft. It's made of magic. Don't looking at it, don't looking at it, don't look at it. Starter V8. Oh, I forgot to get the starter, eh? We forgot the starter. It's fine. It's fine, we're fine. We're fine. Boop, boop. Front exhaust. This exhaust is the only exhaust. That doesn't look pretty and shiny and new. Middle mufflers, that's got oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Rear mufflers. It's banging, sir. Got ourselves a banger. One thing we're missing though is the right door, so this part is going to be brand new, unfortunately, because I mean we can't can't not have a back door. Ah, oh, you would, you would be, a, you would be a mm, primer. Uh, yeah, I like it. Now, of course, the license plates. I already have the two license plates for Illinois. These are, these are the current. Well, I won't say they're the current, but they're one of the Illinois. Uh, Illinois, Illinois, I always say Illinois, Illinois, just to like be uh, triggering, but the license plate for the Blues Brothers is BDR529, I've done my research this time, hey everybody, look, Diesel's figuring it out, <laughs> it's only taken a, what, what are we at, like 96 episodes, hey, rejoice, hey, 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 let's move this jam, oh, hold on a second, I put that all on here, baby. 
Gotta get that all in here, baby. Go ahead, go ahead. You're fine, you're fine. It's a big engine. Soak it in. And turn it on. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Let's check out all these liveries, baby. Now, we have just this regular type here. I think it's looking fantastic. Metallic, we're gonna keep that. Livery. All right, so we got the Bluesmobile. That's what we're gonna eventually paint it as. Got the California Highway Patrol. Car number 52. Car 52, that's car 54, where are you? My bad. California Highway Patrol still. We also have Chicago PD. Nice. Good stuff. Mount Prospect. Delicious. New York PD. Oh, yeah. Got taxi driver. Taxi cab. Taxi. And then none. But we got the Blues Mobile, baby. So to serve and protect. Oh, yeah. Paint that whip. It's beautiful, man. All right, so we'll move the car over to the dyno. Oh, oh, where's the door? Where's the door? Hell. Oh. Someone get a photo of this thing. It's so beautiful. So we go. Lower it down, lower it down. The Blues Mobile, baby. Mm-mm. Hold on. Gotta blur that jam out. Blur it out. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good. Good. Hold on. Sorry. It's one of those things. I just gotta... I just gotta do it, man. Ah, oh, you're pretty. You're pretty. And I'm spent. Let's go see what this thing can do. Oh, <laughs> whoops. My bad. A radiator. I forgot the radiator, man. I gotta forget the radiator. See? I told you. I always forget some sum. Some sum. A little sum sum for everybody. Did I not click on this engine bay? Jeez. Oh, I didn't have to. Uh, didn't need to buy it in the first place. Yes, please. All right, normal 330 horsepower. Uh, I think we're gonna double that. Easy, easy. I definitely dig the uh, sunglasses in the Dodge Monaco, but golly, it's a nice touch. Ah, oh. we almost doubled it. Almost a double. Almost a double. Go ahead and move this car. Awesome. Where am I going? Where am I going? Now this and we definitely got to jack up, man. This and the, uh, uh, what's the other boxy car? Monte Carlo. We have a Monte Carlo, too. It's a street rod. It's a street rod and it's super duper awesome. Let's we'll see how this thing handles. Let's see what it do, baby. Let's see what it feels like. Let's get a good feel for it, you know? I want to thank everybody for all the love and support that I've been receiving on the channel uh, recently. Got a bunch of new subscribers, mostly from Miss Survival. That's okay, because we're having a good time. Um, but yes, thank you. Make sure you hit the uh, link in the description down below for the Discord, and you can get all the updates on all the channels and uh, hang out with all the peoples. Good times, good times. There's 106 miles to Chicago. Got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's night out, and we're wearing sunglasses. Let's hit it. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Little help, little help. I do have sport tires on here, which is probably not great. 
for the traction, especially when, <laughs> since we do blade the power. Oh god, <laughs> help! Oh yeah. Yeah. Dead bum ba da dum ba bum ba da dum ba bum ba da dum ba bum ba da dum. Ha ha ha! Fantastic, fantastic, folks! If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than no. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like you out, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Next time.